What's up everybody? This is Tim from Arm Wrestling Secrets and in this video we're going to be talking about what skills separate an amateur arm wrestler from a pro arm wrestler. Go! 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 All right, everybody, welcome to the show and let's get right into it. Okay, so we're talking about what skills separate an amateur arm wrestler from a pro arm wrestler. Okay, so in the last video that I made, remember we were talking about those class distinctions, okay? Like the differences between beginner and novice, amateur and pro or open class, okay? And some of the differences that you would see at the tournament, some of the practical differences, okay? The technical differences, okay? Now this video is a lot more interesting, okay? Because it's nothing about that. And I think a lot of people, the first thing they're going to come to is strength. They think they think the pro arm wrestlers are so much stronger, okay? Now, obviously, in some cases, that's really true. Some pro arm wrestlers are extraordinarily strong, and of course, arm wrestling is a strength sport, so everyone needs to be strong to a certain degree, but that is not what I'm talking about, and that, that's what I wanted to say first, is strength, okay? Now, obviously, if you're just starting in amateurs, you're not going to be as strong as even some of the amateurs who have been arm wrestling longer, and the longer you've been arm wrestling, you tend to be stronger, but that's, those aren't the key differences that I wanted to cover in this video. There's a lot of amateurs that are just as strong, physically strong as, as the pros. I mean, I think we've all even had, some, some of us have had those experiences where we've arm wrestled someone who, who didn't really know what they were doing, but they were way stronger than you. Like they could bench press 500 pounds or 400 pounds or something where they were really strong, technically strong person, big and strong, but they don't know anything about arm wrestling, okay? And you were able to beat them easily, but that's only because they don't know how to apply their strength, okay? So amateurs are not lacking in strength most times. Most times it's other skills, and those are the things I'm gonna talk about right now. So like I said, the key difference is not really strength, okay? So the key differences we're gonna talk about here are more skill-oriented. Now, like I just said, as far as strength, being able to apply your strength Okay, now I'd say that's one, of the, that's one of the main key differences between a pro and, a, and an amateur arm wrestler. And I, like I said, when I'm coming up and I'm arm, I'm arm wrestling someone who I know is a professional arm wrestler and, and what I see when I'm arm wrestling them, as opposed to what I see when I'm arm wrestling an amateur who hasn't done pro and doesn't do pro. Okay, and what I see are the differences there. And that's, that, that's what I'm talking about here. And remember, these are generalities too. Okay, this doesn't apply to everybody at all. Okay, but these are some of the key differences that I tend to see, and I'm gonna put all these together uh, pretty quickly if I can. Okay, so key details, okay? Details, okay? Detail-oriented, okay? So, so, so just starting out, professional arm wrestlers tend to be more detail-oriented. They're gonna be more concerned with, when they're coming up to the table, they're gonna be paying attention to a lot more details. And I want you amateur guys to listen to what I'm saying here because this is really going to help you to move up. Okay, remember, arm wrestling is not just come to the table and just go as hard as you can, okay? It's like, well, that's what it looks like, okay? But professional arm wrestlers are taking an approach from the beginning. So when they get their name called, they're already thinking about how to win the match, okay? An amateur, oftentimes when they're coming up, they're thinking about winning the match more after they get the after they're gripped up and they get their they're getting ready for the go and then they're more concerned with what they're going to do. Okay, and I hope you guys are listening. Okay. The amateurs, that's more what they're concerned with is what do I do once the ref says go? Like when the ref says go, I'm gonna go for my top roll or I'm gonna go for my hook or whatever, okay? Rewind the clock back to when you got your name called. And we're, we're talking about pro and amateur. Now come right back. You get your name called up there. The pro is thinking about winning the match now, way before he takes a grip with you. He's looking at you, 
He's thinking about your technique or your style, okay? If he, if he knows anything about you, okay? He's already thinking about, okay, what can I do to this, this arm wrestler, okay? How am I going to set up against this person, okay? So the pro arm wrestler is coming up with a coming up with a with a with a game plan and a lot more a lot more times. Just like I said, a lot more common that I see. Okay, so they're going to be coming up with more of a game plan when they come to the table. They're going to be thinking of a certain move they're going to be pulling on on the on the other arm wrestler. They're going to be thinking, okay, I'm going to do a certain type of top roll or a certain type of hook with this person. So they're thinking of advanced techniques okay they're thinking of they have a, they have multiple techniques okay that's the thing that really separates the amateurs and the pros as well is amateurs are very one dimensional like they have one good move and they stick with it but they, if but if you stop them in that one move they don't really have any other moves or they don't have a, an other good moves to go to professional arm wrestlers are going to have a primary attack a secondary attack they're going to have multiple attacks from multiple angles, depending on the way that the opponent is setting up. So you're starting to see, for the amateurs, the, the complication between an amateur match and a professional match is way different. It's right here, okay? The, the pro's thinking, okay, I'm going to set my arm in a certain position. I'm looking at where my opponent's arm is. I'm going to maximize the connection that I get with my hand by putting my elbow in a specific position depending on where the opponent's elbow is. I'm not just coming up and going, well, let's arm wrestle. I'm watching where you're putting your arm. I'm putting my arm depending on where it's going to be best for me, depending on the technique that I'm going to do to your arm. So what I'm seeing when I'm coming up this on professionals and I'm seeing your arm, I'm going to try to set my arm in a certain position, like my elbow. I'm going to be concerned about the height of my arm. I'm going to be concerned with my starting position much more than the amateurs tend to be. And like I said, these are all just generalities, but I'm just going to keep going, okay? Is that the pros are going to tend to be concerned with all of those other little details, the, the technical setup of their body, okay? Now, I've gone over technical setups of top rolls and some of the other things, okay, but, but as far as what skills separate the two differences, you can see it. I mean, if, if from my perspective, when you're sitting there at a tournament and you're watching everyone arm wrestle, I mean, you, you know what tournament you're watching. I mean, you know if you're watching a pro tournament or, or an amateur tournament, but I'm saying when you watch the pros and the amateurs kind of arm wrestle each other or you watch a more seasoned pro against someone who just went up to the pros, you can see the differences from a mile away. I mean, you can see the way they're setting up their bodies. You can almost see who's going to win the match. Even if you don't know who the guys are, you can see the setup coming, especially if you watch from the side. Like if I'm watching the two guys from the side of the table and I can see the way their bodies are really, the things they can't see, I see the midline and I see, the, I see all the different setup things that they're doing. And the professional arm wrestlers tend to pay a lot more attention to those, to those details. Stop being one dimensional. If you wanna move up to the pro class, you have to start developing multiple techniques, okay? Top roll, hook, maybe develop a press, okay? Uh, transitions is another thing that I see as a key difference between amateurs and pros, okay? Is once you're stuck in a position, as an amateur, a lot of times it's like you don't really know what to do once you get stopped in your move. A lot of times the professionals can, can chain moves together right to where they might start they might start with one move and then end up completely rolling to a separate attack and it's just like a flawless transition okay that's another real key difference you're going to see with the pro arm wrestlers is their ability to to chain movements together very smoothly and a lot of times the amateur arm wrestlers aren't, aren't doing that okay they're kind of they're kind of they get ready for their move, and then if their move doesn't work, they're not as good as not good at transitioning or working out of those moves. But the ability for the pros, you like I said, you see them technically setting up their bodies, and they're they're concerned with everything. They're worried about what this arm's doing, okay? What this elbow's doing? What this elbow's doing? Okay? What the height of their arm is doing? Advanced technical setups, okay? So they're setting their body up for very specific moves, okay? And the last thing I wanted to cover was advanced grips. The things that really separate the pros from the amateurs. That's what you guys want to know. Okay, advanced grips. Okay, there are different grips 
heights and grips you can take for different moves that you're going to do. Okay, so if you're going to be doing a hook on your opponent, you should be setting your body up to maximize the connection of that hook. And that's a huge difference I see with the amateurs and the pros is a lot of times the amateur is going to come up and he's going to be planning on doing a hook, but he won't be putting his arm in the right position or his hand in the right position. Because we're talking about gripping setups right now. Okay. His grip will not be specific for the move he's trying to do. He'll just take this. A lot of amateurs will just take the same grip. They just take a, just a, what I call a general grip and they haven't learned or haven't taken the time to really consider all the different type of grips they could take that would maximize the effectiveness of the move that they're trying to do. So I hope this video helped you guys understand some of the differences, some of the key skill differences between amateur and pro, and it'll give you some things to work on so that you can get better. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want to light speed your arm wrestling knowledge, supercharge your training, and start winning more matches, click on the link in the description, go to my arm wrestling coaching page, and book a session with me. Bye.